Your pal, Raji Dodgy here, back with another lovely episode of Roger and Jimmy's Reviews. Jimmy, I'm gonna guess the sweet wine aisle is your favorite because it's the <laughs> question that everyone asks me. How about you? It's the question I get every day. They hold up a bottle and they say, is this sweet? All right, so if you're like the rest of the people that come in here asking these questions, which there is not a wrong question to ask our man, Jimmy, um, that's what we're gonna look at today. So let's take a walk down the sweet aisle and Jimmy's gonna show you a little bit about what we got. The number one wine that people drink when they say they drink sweet wine, they all love Moscato. So a little bit about it. It says Moscato Dossi, that means it's fizzy. Like frizzante is the actual word. It's not fizzy like champagne, but it's uh, just a little fizzy like soda. Like Asti Spumante. Asti. And then if okay. it says Moscato by itself, it's still. But one wine that they don't try, a grape that they don't try, they really should, is a Brichetto. Brichetto is a grape from the Piedmont region of Italy. And I actually love this with chocolate cake. I can Ch go for that. Guys, we got Valentine's Day coming up. That's it. That's that's your bottle right that's there. That's the bottle. All right. And then we get to a sweet Great red. Great price point, too. A sweet red or, or blends. I'm sure Moscato is in there along with Brichetto. Okay. But uh, they can be anything and everything, but they're just a sweet red blend. Then we go further down as we're coming down the sweet aisle. Coming down, coming down. Then we have dessert wines. Dessert wines can be made a couple different ways. My two favorite ways. One is called botrytis. It's called noble rot. They let the grape rot right on the vine and they crush it. It's a real condensed fruit. Or they can just let the grape freeze and they're literally crushing these marbles. I see ice. That's it, ice vine. And then we can spin totally around here. Hold on, hold Roger's on. Roger's getting dizzy. Way. Here we go, coming and around. And then we get to the section of port. Now this is the ultimate, I guess, sweet nice. wine. Yes. Everybody should have port at home. Okay. In fact, I tell people I love to start the to start the dinner with bubbles, and I like to end with port. Sounds good. All port is sweet. All port is sweet. Now okay. the grapes that they use aren't necessarily sweet, but they uh, they do it because it's a fortified wine. Guess what it's fortified with? Sugar. Brandy. Brandy. Brandy, <laughs> yes. All right. And then we have ruby port, tawny port. We even have pink port. And uh, if it says late bottled vintage, LBV is like a vintage port, which only happens like three times out of 10 years. And LBV is close, but no cigar, but you can mimic a vintage port and not pay anywhere near the number if you got an LBV. So we have ruby port, we have tawny port, liquid pecan pie. Liquid. All right, show us this bottle. All right, so we have any Tony Port is exactly that. That's what it reminds me of. And I do love a Tony Port. You can get them in vintages also. So we have Port, we have Moscatos, Brichettos, dessert wines. If you like sweet, we have the off for you. I'll tell you what, and this guy has all the questions you need answered. That brain up there <laughs> has, I, I couldn't even tell you where to begin, but Jimmy is the guy that you need to speak to. Jimmy, thank you so much. I learned Pleasure. some some great things today on Port. Liquid pecan pie, you can't go wrong with that. So for this quick tour of our sweet wine section, I'm Roger Wilco. I'm Jimmy Quayle. And thanks for watching this episode of Product Reviews with Roger and Jimmy.